Hey guys, so Chris and I have talked it over and today we are gonna get rid of our glass shower doors. Those is like 50 pounds of weight. We're not really happy with them. Uh, we have like a loose handle on, on one of the sides. They're a pain in the butt to keep clean. The tracks where they go are constantly dirty with what uh, you know water just sits in there and creates mold and whatnot. We're gonna get rid of it, save a little bit of weight in our rig. And then also um, in place of it, we're gonna put a shower rod with shower curtain. And like I said, it'll save weight. So here we go. RTV, whatever that is, I'm gonna cut that real quick. So one of the main reasons why we're getting rid of these is, well, there's a couple. They're super heavy. We heard at least 50 pounds. And for me, <laughs> for me, it's this. Inside this track, it's so disgusting. I literally just detailed this a week ago and it is grimy. You can't really get it clean. And then also, I don't know how well you can see, um, the soap scum is super hard to keep clean. See, it's pretty much just a screw on each side and then you should just lift it right out, looks like. Those are heavy. I'm going to squeeze them together when I lift them. I might take them out of the track so we don't. Yeah. It kind of makes me nervous putting that pressure on it. And yeah, that's pretty crazy. Pick them up at the same time. <laughs> right, let's look. pretty easy really it's nothing but a bunch of not even a bunch just a few screws just cutting the sealant the sealant doesn't go all the way down right here it goes to about right here mm. and there's still like from here down oh, yeah. not even sealed so. mm -hmm. and I got a plastic razor blade and that's why I actually come in here and scrape all this sealant off with so Paint. Yeah. I know if you get a little bit. Taking those out. Yeah, it's um, a little bit. Scuffed, hopefully. All right, I'll cover it, right? Yep. So, funny story that we're doing this because Jason was super against taking the shower doors out. <laughs> and here we are. I liked them. They looked nice. They looked nice. When we first bought it but the more we started to use it the handle came loose on this door right here and then this track was so dirty just it turned to to more work than anything not yeah. functional and then not to mention uh the weight the weight those those three doors that we just moved were pretty I, i'm pretty heavy. sure that was heavier than 50 pounds i yeah, feel like it they were pretty heavy So I have to say, if you're just like a, a weekender, vacationer, uh, the doors you probably would want to keep. Um, it wouldn't probably be that much of an upkeep, but as a full timer. Whew. They're just a lot. So, like I said, I got a razor blade. We'll scrape this. There's a kind of a rusty looking screw right there, but we can touch that up. Honestly, it, the shower is not that small for an RV, but I will have to say that opening up though, look how much like wider just to step in. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, because the door. Yeah, it would go right there. Yeah. So it's kind of, you know, get some um, more space there. My number two bit is about done. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you take your time. And cut this RTV, the sealant, whatever they've got on these tracks. Make sure you take your time and don't cut into your actual shower because it's very easy to do. So. Go in at an angle, make sure you don't go in straight. Pretty grody. Pretty grody. So there's water 
there's water under this tray. Oh yeah, Where? look at that. No. Oh, and it does stink. And it stinks. <laughs> no more. It won't no more. No more stink. Oh, it just splashed <laughs> on me. I got the poo on me. You are so but That's right. I've had worse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna open our fan. <laughs> so here we're just taking a um, rubber plastic. Plastic. <laughs> we're taking the rubber off. <laughs> plastic. We're using a plastic razor blade, and that way we won't scratch the shower. Um, they're not the they're not the best, but they get the job done when you're trying to take off this sealant. Yeah. As you can see we're already getting them in strips. So now that we got all these holes in the wall from everything that we removed, I'm going to use this GE kitchen and bath silicone. It's 100% waterproof. It's white, so it'll kind of blend in for the most part. And then we should be good to put the curtains on. A couple things I want to tell you about this job. First of all, super easy to take out the tracks, the sides, the bottom, the glass. Uh, you will need two people to pull the three pieces of glass out. It's um, it's pretty heavy. Just better to be careful with two, with two people pulling it out instead of trying to struggle by yourself. When you take it out, the top track comes with the three pieces of glass. So be careful and keep that in mind. Once you get on the floor, you can actually slide that track off and then the three pieces are by themselves. They have stops, so you can't really break them apart unless you take a screwdriver and actually do a little bit of extra work. So um, just if you slide Slide that tray off the top and then you can move the three pieces. Second, make sure you have some silicone, waterproof silicone. We have white because it matches the inside of our shower. And then you're going to want razor blades, uh, the plastic razor blades because uh, with with normal metallic blades, you'll scrape your paint off of the shower. And third, the thing that takes the longest in this job is going to be scraping the sealant off of the walls of this shower. It's taken probably twice as long so far just to do that. We removed it in 30 minutes. We removed the shower pieces in 30 minutes and we've been going about an hour probably scraping all the sealant off and then touching up the holes with the silicone. So keep that in mind when you do the job. And if you like this, please like and subscribe our page. Give me a comment. And if you don't like this, like and subscribe our page because you never know what dumb stuff I'm gonna be doing next. So I can tell you right now, cleaning it is already so much better. I'm normally having to shove my body in the little opening, and now I can really get down in there. It's awesome. So now we got our black shower rod. Pick this up at Target. Worked out actually, they had 25% off on all of their bath stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saving money on top of it. <laughs> Alright, so there's the final outcome with the. Well, the liner. We don't have a curtain yet. Yeah, this is just to get us through the day, through the night rather. Uh, so that's what it looks like. Easy install on this. It's just an adjustable curtain rod, some hooks, and just a liner that we bought all at Target. So here's what I was telling you about with the doors. See these little stops right here? And there's one inside here. You can't see it, though. So each one of these door, these glass doors has a wheel, right? So they're all kind of attached. So you can't really take them apart because they each have a stop in them. I mean, it's, it's probably not that hard to take out the stops, but just so you can tell, that's what it is. This one has a wheel, this one has a wheel, this one has another wheel, and fully extended, it hits a stop. When it closes, it, it hits another stop on this one. So just so you know. So here's the final outcome. Well, this is a few days later. So as you can tell, we put some hooks in here to hang some towels from the pool. But shower curtain, liner, the outer thing, I don't know what that's called, but that's how it looks. Here is our whole bathroom. All in all, I'd say we lost about 50 pounds and not to mention, uh, personally, we just like it better. Okay, so that was our glass door removal video. A uh, couple quick things I wanted to note that we didn't really say while we were doing the removal. Uh, first things first, when you remove the trim behind ours, we did have about two screws on each side that looked like they mounted the actual shower insert into the into the opening. As, as in, if you were to remove them, they might uh, might allow you to pull the shower out. You know what I'm saying? So I left those screws in, didn't really worry about it. All I did was put some of that um, waterproof sealant on top of them so they didn't let any water intrusion inside the shower itself. Uh, same, I used that water stuff, the uh, water sealant all the way around for all the other hole openings. Um, our lower trim where the glass doors actually went in into the slots, 
under that was actually a slightly different uh, color of white, kind of like a, almost like a, almost like a beige. Uh, so I don't know if it wasn't painted correctly or maybe the tray sitting over it rubbed on it or something. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's not that noticeable uh, anymore. When we first did the job, it was definitely noticeable. Now we don't even pay attention to it. So those are the two biggest things. Uh, just note that if you go to do the removal, when you remove the two side braces for the doors, you most likely will have some screws under those that as far as I can tell, actually mount your shower into your wall. So like I said, we left them, we just covered them up with, uh, we just covered them up with the white sealant. Not a big deal to us. You can't really see them unless you have your shower curtains completely open, which we never leave them open anyways. Not really a big deal. Uh, other than that, we absolutely love what we did. We feel that it gave a little bit more of an opening to the bathroom, definitely changed the layout. Uh, we're, we're really, really happy that we did it. So we're headed to Savannah in a couple days for a trip and I want to weigh again and see how much weight we lost off of that. Those doors were heavy. I, I would definitely say they're probably about 50 pounds without a doubt. You can do it, remove them with one person, but if you've got an extra set of hands, might as well use it. There's no, no use in struggling. And when you kind of squeeze all three of them at the same time, it kind of made me nervous like they were going to flex and break, you know what I mean? Just use two people. Might, might as well be safe. All right, so hopefully you guys like this video. And if you did, please subscribe and uh, keep following along. Thanks.